Right, changing a Land Rover wheel bearing. Um, front and rear wheel bearings are the same. Um, this has got the same running gear as uh, Discovery, Range Rover Classic, and the wheel bearings are even the same on the series, uh, series Land Rovers. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to film, because it's obviously 10 minutes for YouTube, so I won't jabber on too much, just speed it up. Um, I'm going to film doing the front one, and we're going to have a quick look at the back one, which has got drum brakes on it, but if you've got disc brakes or on, your, on your rear, like um, Discovery <coughs> and Range Rover, then you'll know what to do, because it's the same. Right, first things first, get your cap off, whatever it is, whether it's rubber or metal. Put your cap off, Let's stick that up there. And then you want a pair of uh, circlip pliers and pop your circlip off at the end. Hopefully, first time round, come on. Ten minutes. Don't forget the washers and the spacers on the end, get them all off. One stuck on there, but that will come off when I undo that hat. Right, so now, um, before you take the wheel off, if you've got standard wheels, like your steel wheels, where you can get to these bolts in the middle around that cap, loosen them all off before you lift the car up. Otherwise, you will need... It's not really a problem, unless they're uh, super, super tight. But, um, next job is loosen all the caps, loosen all the bolts. I've loosened just a couple of these already. Right, so we've got all them bulbs out. <coughs> uh, this is that lovely ratchet that you can double in length, shorten, and then swivel the head on so you can undo things quickly. Right, I'll whip that cap off and we'll come back in a second for the next bit. Back in a second. Right, five bolts are all out, you can see. Nothing holding that shaft in now. I'm using my fingers, so now. Tap a uh, break the seal on the side of the cap. Shouldn't take too much abuse. And there it goes. That is what transmits your drive from the shaft, from the diff, to the hub. If you've got a freewheeling hub, that's what disengages the drive, stops that driving that. Right, okay, that's that. Right, those are the big nuts that hold the wheel bearings on. But because we're doing the front ones, that whole lot comes off. Like the caliper's holding the um, disc in, so the caliper's got to come off. Now, next job is there's loads more of this on the. Um, there's more about to do this on the DVD. Next job, we've got to undo these two bolts here. Oh, I've disconnected the um, track running just so I can spin it around and show you all nice and uh, quickly and stress, and stress free. Who's ringing of a Sunday? Can you believe it? Right, right, got, got the phone. Right, come back in and have a look. Next job. Uh, I've got to undo these two bolts on this one because there's a bracket <coughs> that holds the um, <coughs> rigid pipe brake pipe to the uh, flexible brake hose secure on the top. So. I wonder is if you want to know how to, sh how to um, adjust the uh, your swivel housings up, it's all on the DVD, the service DVD. And we're filming more as we speak. Right, so I've got to unwind them all the way, so I won't bother showing you all out on DVD. But if you come round here, then uh, <coughs> you've got the brake caliper and the rigid pipe. So after we've, after we've unloosened the um, two bolts on the top, there is two, there's two um, half inch bolts, but they're 12 point. So you can't use six hex, because my favorite is six hex uh, socket, so you don't round anything off, but these have got 12 points on. Not all of them, but this one has, and they're right in, <coughs> They're in line with my ratchet on the far side of the uh, far side of the um, caliper. So I'm going to undo them two bolts and start the extending ratchet again to pop them off. Unwind them two bolts, take two, take them two off the top, and get a cable tie or something to take the weight of the caliper. Because when we pull the caliper off, 
you don't want to leave it hanging on the brake hose because it's heavy enough that it will damage the brake hose. Right, so I'll get all these bolts out and we'll come back when I'm ready to lift the caliper off. And then we're ready to take cover, back in a sec. Right, all the bolts are out, got the cable tie ready to go. Make sure you um, just leave your brake pads back a little bit. There's more on the DVD, um, the workshop DVD.com. <coughs> There's um, going to be loads of free video, video clips, clips in the bit that you go to after you put your name and email address in. So, um, and I can remind you of any uh, new stuff coming up. Right, ready? There we go. That's where the two bolts are. That's the brake caliper. Two bolts out the top, you can have a look there. And what we're going to do is we're going to wind one of those bolts back in because you don't want that to come out and the um, hub allowed to be free. Because they're in a lot holding it on. Right, cable tie. It's way too heavy to be. Uh, way too heavy to be cutting anything. So we'll wedge that in there on the suspension arm cable tie around it so that if it goes uh, if it goes walkies it doesn't rip the brake pipe out right okay there's the 12 point bolt 12 hex bolt to come out the caliper one there and one there it's all been steam cleaned from the other clip stick that back in there's how to uh, how to shim this up on the um, DVD do for that right now. Now we can tell. This is this is how you want to check your wheel bearing. There's no no movement in it and no noise in it. But we're changing it obviously for uh, the video. Now let's change position. We'll have a quick look at the back and uh, then we'll get the, the hub off. Right, here's the back one uh, of a drum drum brake version. Take the drum off. And then you've got the hub right there. Take your cap off, circle it, five bolts, and then you've got your hub ready to go, your big nut in the center. So that's as the, the, the changing drum brake uh, wheel bearings is a doddle, easy, lovely job. Um, <coughs> adjusting them up is all on the DVD, cleaning them, etc. The rest of the service stuff is on the DVD. Uh, get the drum off, it's stuck, easy. Um, right, okay, so now we're going to put the wheel bearing in the front one because it's more difficult. If you've got disc brakes on the back, it's similar to the front, take the caliper off, slightly different caliper, take the caliper off <coughs> and um, to get to the drum, because obviously you've got the disc to the hub, same as the front. Back to the front, let's do that. Right, another favourite Land Rover tool, service the whole motor with them, a pair of pump pliers, big ones. There is, and if you've got the different hubs <coughs> where the nut is further in there, I don't want to see anyone doing it, but we're all guilty, uh, anybody who's done more than one probably is guilty of uh, doing it this way. Chisel, hammer, and if any of your nuts have got any lumps dug in the side like that, you know that that is how they've been undone. So, the job can be done like that, but the little box spanner to do the job is about a five quid, ten quid, S silly money. So it's not worth bothering with, not having the tool. But pump pliers is good. There's a lock and tab between the two nuts on this, and uh, the way it's turning, it looks like the lock and tab has uh, disintegrated. So we'll have a look when that comes off. Right, be back in a second. Ooh. That is the bit that affects your wheel bearing play. That would be excessive play, MOT fail. We'll go and sort it out. Right, I'll wind the nuts off back in a second. 